numbers. The property on Ponderosa Drive was scheduled for a trustee sale on January 18th. Were you aware of that? Mm, no. Have you gotten anything in the mail from your mortgage company or anything like that? I'm not sure. I've been at my mom's. My husband's been staying there because my dad passed away. Uh, I'm sorry to hear about that. Thank you. Um, I would reach out to your mortgage lender and just make sure that everything is, is squared away. It's showing so that the. Who are you calling from? Uh, I'm calling from Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Uh, I, I don't work with a company or anything. My mom went through the same thing uh, a few years back, and I just kind of took it upon myself to make a business out of helping people in these situations out. Okay, so. I mean, I don't understand how you find out before I find out. And... So the way the way I find out is through public notices so all of this stuff is public information so when a notice gets sent to you uh in the mail a notice is also posted online and i have access to those notices does that make sense mm -hmm. so that's how i'm able to see um something like this you might have i mean you made it a business and what, what's the business i mean so i call you and we talk right my first and foremost what I want to do is keep you in the house, right? So I have eight options and three of those options involve you staying in the house. So I'll walk you through that, the, that process. Then if we exhaust all three of those options and you have to sell your house, then I would buy the house from you. Does that make sense? Okay. So that, that's basically the business, right? In a, in a nutshell. Um, but I, I'm not one of those greedy, you know, big companies that don't care about people. Like I said, my mom went through the same thing. So I want to be able to help you as best as I can. And then if all else fails, then I would love to buy your house from you. Yeah, that's going to be my husband's doings. And do you have a, do you have a phone number? Do you want me to reach out to him? Well, do you not have a phone number for him? Because I don't understand how you got mine if you didn't have his. Because my name is just actually on the deed. So yeah. I'm not actually on the loan itself. So. Ah, so, so I'm going to tell you how I get phone numbers. Uh, I'm going to be completely transparent here. I found out that you is a are, are the names on the deeds. I take those names and I put them into a, a site, uh, a skip tracing site that pulls phone numbers based on those names. Okay. And that that's how I got this phone number. I have another phone number that ends in 9130. I'm not sure if that's that's Greg's number. No, I don't know who that is. Okay. So yeah, I don't know whose phone number that is. Yeah. Uh, me me neither. <laughs> me neither. There, these numbers aren't it's always. An old phone number, so I don't know. Yeah, but... these, these numbers aren't always the most accurate. Um I, I do know that. Um, if you want, I can reach out to Greg or, um, you know, you can bring this to him and you guys can have the conversation. Um, I'm not sure how, how you want to move forward. I just want to make sure that you're able to get something out of the house and not let the, the mortgage lender come in and take it for nothing. Right, right. And is a number to reach you back at is the one you called me from? Yes, absolutely. If this is a cell phone, I can I can text you my information as well, just so you have it. Yeah, this is my cell phone. Okay, I'll, I'll do that. I'll text you my information. And if I don't hear from you in the next week, then I'm going to reach back out just to make sure we get the ball rolling. All right, thank you. All right, no problem, Tanya. I hope you have a good one. I'm sorry for the random call. I just wanted to let you know that the property on Dutch Valley is scheduled for a trustee sale on January 24th. Were you aware of that? I was not. What do I need to pay to get that taken care of? Okay. I would reach out to your mortgage lender and go through the steps with them. I, I don't know what you need to pay. I, I don't know uh, really what happened. Um, yeah, is it supposed to be for sale? Excuse me? I'm sorry, sir. Are you there? Oh, we got disconnected. Are you there? Yes, sir. All right, smooth. 
Um, what what was your question you asked? I said, when is it supposed to be for sale? January twenty fourth. Okay. And that's coming up quick, so I'd give them a call and try to get that rendered as soon as possible. All right, thank you, sir. All right, no problem. All right, goodbye. Okay. You looking they at? Don't care about, they don't care about your stuff. That is that is very true. Are you looking to sell it? Not at the moment, no. Is that what you guys were looking to do, was to sell it or to buy it? Uh, yeah, that's, I mean, we do a lot of things, but buying is definitely one of them. Okay. All right, I think that's what it is. Let me, let me give them a call and I'll call you back. All right, I have the notice in front of me right now. Um, it just is it says... Is city or county? Um, trust to blah, blah, blah. So it was the deed of trust, commercial bank. Okay, gotcha. All right. Thank All right. You. No problem. All right, bye. Bye. I'm glad you I'm got glad it. You back on me. Oh yeah, no problem. I'm glad you got it squared away and I hope you have a good one. Thank you. All you right. Bye-bye. 3583. Eight six six five four nine three five eight three, and then I'll look up. I'll look up this other one for you. Give me one second. Okay. All right. So the Wilson and Associates. Are you ready? Yeah. Go ahead. Okay, 615-255-9388. Okay. And let me double check that they don't have another number. They got different branches all over Tennessee. All right, I gave you the, the number ending in 5688, eight, right? No. Okay, okay. Nine, nine, eight, eight. Take this number down. I think this would be a better number. 865-558-9388. Eight, five, five, eight, five, eight. Okay. And that's a Wilson and Associates as well? Yes. Yeah, give them a call and, and, and find out what's going on. Uh, hopefully, hopefully that lump sum isn't too much and you can get it taken care of. Yeah. Um, why were you calling me? Just to verify that I had the heads up. I guess, yeah. Uh, you're, you're trying to get you my son, I guess. Yeah, I, I was, um, but I, I guess I got you. So, I mean, I, at yeah. least we, we got somebody on the phone. What I do is um, I really like helping people. My mom went through the same thing, so I just reach out and let them let people know their options. And then if uh, you know their options to keep the house don't work out, then I would buy that house from them. Does that make sense? Yeah, sure. So that's that's what I do. Um, so you're not affiliated with uh? No, with not not at all. Them. Not at all. Um, okay. I just, uh, it was on the, you know, the Tennessee has a public data website and all the foreclosures are on that website. So whenever a notice goes out, um, I get that information and then I call, uh, basically the, the name on the title that I, that I get gotcha, gotcha. and then have that conversation from there. Okay. Yeah. Now they were, he was work trying to work something. I don't know. He talked to the VA about but he could miss so many, so many um, uh, payments, I guess, before he'd get in trouble. I don't know what the hell he's doing. <laughs> yeah, and it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a sticky situation, too, especially once yeah. it gets this far when you got, you know, a chopping block, like you said. <laughs> Yeah, it, right. it, it's touchy. But hey, if you uh, if you have any questions, if you you know you hit a roadblock, feel free to reach out. I got your number saved in my phone. Okay. What company are you with, Johnny? I don't work with a company. I, I'm by myself. Okay. Yeah, okay. It's just it's just me and my uh, 
my friend in Knoxville and, and we make phone calls and, and we, we help people out. I don't work with any of those big companies or anything like that. Alright. Yep. Yeah, I appreciate it. And ain't no problem. And if uh All right. and uh if you ever, you know, get tired of those rentals, give me a call. I'd love I'd love to take them out and take them off your hands from you. Sounds good, man. All right, my yeah, man. I appreciate it, Johnny. Hey, have a good one. Bye-bye. Right, bye-bye. The property on Harris Road was scheduled for a trustee sale on January 31st. Were you aware of that? Say that again, sir. Uh, the property on Harris Road was scheduled for a trustee sale on January 31st. Were you aware of that? Uh, not for real. It was for property. Uh, the <laughs> in Knoxville, Tennessee. That's that's not your property. Is that you? That's that's me. But that's what's the problem with it? It's scheduled for a trustee sale on January thirty first. So like a foreclosure sale. And you said that this, you said this property isn't yours. address again? Uh, three seven. Let me grab No, you're good. Go Three seven nine one eight. Yes, sir. What is, what is the problem with it? It has a trustee sale date of January 31st, a public auction. Trustee sale. Do you have a Do you have a mortgage on that home? I, I don't. We got some uh, rental properties. Let me Let me check. Hey, can I call you back on number? Yeah, absolutely. You want to write down my, my name, John. too? You're John. Johnny, J-O-H-N-N-Y, 774-219. Okay. 774, okay. Let me hour back at you, Russ. What is it? It just went into the mortgage not being paid? Yes. That yes, that's, that's what I'm guessing. Minutes, All right, have a good one, man. I'll talk to you soon. All right, you too. All right. All right. Bye -bye. Yeah, before Christmas, um, but then, uh, well, it was before Thanksgiving, actually, and then my dad went to the hospital, um, and I was with him there, so, which is where I think I got COVID, but mm -hmm. it's just been a lot, and I haven't really had the strength or anything to do anything. Yeah, it sounds like it. Again, I'm very, very sorry to hear that. Um, I ha what did the mortgage company say to you? Hello. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Wrong number. Sorry, I missed your call. Please leave your name, number, and message after the tone. And Park Ave was scheduled for a trustee sale on February 9th. Were you aware of that? Yes. Okay. Do you have a Do you have a plan in place to to get that taken care of? The only reason why I asked my mom went through the same thing, and she wouldn't, she didn't know all the options she had. So I just wanted to know if if you knew the options you have to keep yourself from from this. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna keep my property. Awesome. Oh, are you gonna do like a loan modification, or or what's what's your plan? That's what I'm trying to do. Okay. Have you reached out to the mortgage company already? Yeah, are they having you do the paperwork? I know with loan modifications, they have you do a bunch of paperwork. I just, um, no. Okay, have so you? So you can help me do it. Yeah, so I can I can walk you through the process. Um, I I unfortunately I don't have access to like your actual mortgage information, but um, if you want to stay in the house, then a loan modification is, is your best option. Okay. So I would I would first and foremost reach out to your mortgage company and let them know like hey there's a trustee sale date already scheduled I want to see you about doing a loan modification. What they'll do is they'll send you an application. You have to apply applications depending on your mortgage it can take 
um, 30 days to 60 days. Since uh, the date is, is relatively close, it probably won't take that long. But if you want to stay in the house, then I would get on that as soon as possible. Okay. So, um, when I do that, what else I do after that? Are you, I mean, tell me your purpose of calling me. I work for myself, by myself. I don't work with any company. Uh, my purpose for calling you is because I want to help you stay in the house. And okay. if we can't help you stay in the house, then I would love to buy your house from you. But you said your goal is to stay in the house, and I want to help you do that. Okay, well, what can you do? I just I, The loan modification. So there's, there's about eight options I, I tell people, right? Um, you want to stay in your house, so there's a, three options that will keep you in the house. The first option is the loan modification, which we discussed. The second one is a personal loan. Do you know anybody in your family who who could, you know, take care of your arrears and allow you to pay them back? Uh, no, my arrears is too much. Okay, so that's that's that option's out. The next option would be to file bankruptcy, which is never the best option, but it will delay the foreclosure process for about a year. Now, they're still going to end up with the property, but it just kind of drags it out a little longer so you can make, uh, you know, alternate decisions. But um, if... If staying in the house is what you want to do, it seems like the arrears are too high based on what you said, then the loan modification seems like the best the best way to go. Okay. So have you uh have you thought like what what are, what are your plans if you know uh, I wanna do the loan modification. What if they deny it? What are, what are your plans for from there? I'm 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 trying to just dig a little bit because I don't I don't want you to to have the foreclosure on your record. Yeah. After that, I'm like, whatever I have to do to yeah. keep it. Absolutely. But um, I don't want to file bankruptcy. Yeah. So the loan modification is the is the best option. Um, as soon as we get off the phone, I think you should reach out to your mortgage company, and start that process because there's paperwork that has to be filled out. And the sooner you do that, the better, because again, that date is coming up soon. So you want to make sure that, you know, you, you have everything done ahead of time, just so there isn't any question. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Hey, no problem. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep uh, your number in my phone. I'm going to call you in about a week just to make sure that this process is started. Okay. Okay. All right, Kimberly, we have the property on Straight Cove. It's scheduled for a trustee sale on February 14th. Were you aware of that? I'm aware of it. Okay, awesome. What What is your plan, if you don't mind me asking? I haven't made a plan yet. I haven't decided why. Who are you? What's your concern? Okay. My name is Johnny. I, I don't work for a company. I don't, you know, work for anybody. Uh, my mom mm -hmm. went through this same thing. Uh, mm -hmm. a couple of years back and she didn't know all the options she had to make a plan. Mm -hmm. So I call and reach out to people and, and tell them their options so they don't feel like, you know, stuck, like they don't, they don't know. So um, what, what mm -hmm. do you want to stay in the house? If you don't, if you don't do anything, um, uh, on a company, um, how do you know what the, um, options are? <laughs> so I, I, I own my own company doing this, right? So I don't, okay. I don't, I don't work for a company. I, I I solely work on uh, people in foreclosure because I like to help people. So what I do is I call you. Um, Hold on one second for me, John. Go ahead. Okay, Johnny. So you are the owner of your own company. Yes. And you tell people what their options are. Yeah. So so basically, what happens is we'll go through the options, right? First and mm -hmm. foremost, we want to keep you in the house. That that's the plan. Mm -hmm. If that doesn't work out, then I would buy your house from you and put some money in your pocket so you can start over. That's that, mm -hmm. that's really my 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 goal is to help you the best way that I can. And <laughs> oh, <I'm sorry. laughs> go ahead, man. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm going to tell you, I have a young lady named Cynthia who called me and said the same thing. Um, so I've gotten with her. I think what we did, what we just put it out on the market for sale. And I've gotten just this morning, we put it out there uh, Friday. We put it out there Friday and I've gotten eight calls so far. Awesome. So 
that's what I'm doing. I'm planning on probably selling it first. Okay. Um, I'd like to stay in it, but there's too much work for me to try to stay in it. So, um, and my kids are grown, and I'm tired of cleaning empty rooms anyway. So, I hear that. I hear that. Uh, I'm just just biding my time and see mm-hmm. if if that'll work out. If not, um, I'm gonna give it until January, probably around January twentieth. And it's not because of the problem right now. It's even if I do sell it, where am I going? I'm not yeah, going to go exactly. nowhere and I can't find anything. And I'm not going to pay fourteen, fifteen hundred dollars for one bedroom. That's all we're finding. So yeah, yeah. that's my big problem. My dilemma is trying to find something. Okay. And then you've got a lot of scammers um, that's calling. And they, we buy houses and we do this and we do that. And oh, yeah. once I look them up, they're... They're, they're nothing about what they're saying. <laughs> yeah. You know, be careful because there's a lot of people who are going to call and try to try to get their hands on it. Um, yeah. you, you, um, it's already where? it's already on the MLS, you, you're saying? I'm sorry? You, it's already listed up with the MLS? Like, yes, you know. just listed it okay. on Friday. Just okay. listed it. Through, so through, um, I've just relisted through Regal Properties. Regal, Regal something. It's called okay. Regal Properties, I okay. think. Okay. Yeah, um, I'll, I'll take a look at it because that, that it's might, been listed for one day. Yeah, that I might, just looked at it out there. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll, I'll check it out. I usually don't buy on market properties because I enjoy having these conversations. And then my thing with on market too, there's so many real estate commissions, and some people mm-hmm. will come try to buy it, and then be like, "Well, can you do this that?" I buy it completely mm-hmm. as is. I, we don't do That's any real estate commissions. Is, so, yeah. I mean, people want to come by to see it and i got a little cleaning up i want to do clean up some of the rooms and stuff yeah. but um i hadn't shown it any it's been on there it's just you know been on there one day so we'll see i'm just gonna play it by ear i'm gonna probably take it off probably around the 20th or the 25th yeah and see what so, see what happens see, see, what, yeah, see, what, see what kind of money yeah. i also put it under my mortgage company as a short sale as well so okay um, but it had to be listed before you go through with the short sale. Okay. Um, so do you, do that you, was why I listed it. How much uh, do you owe in arrears? Well, I'm going to tell you, my um, my balance is only 116 The I owe the difference uh, for forbearance that I did, and that's only 12000 Okay. The house appraises at 270 I think they just did a, an appraisal, and it appraised at 275 I believe. Okay, so, so there's some equity in there if you only owe 161. Oh, yeah. oh definitely. Yeah. yeah, so you definitely don't want them to come take your house and all your equity. They're saying that there's a second out there on it, but we couldn't find where it was um, uh, a lien for a second. They said there's a second for like a 104, but I do remember when I got that house, I did an 80 20. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. So there may be a second out there, but the the uh, what do you call it? The uh, oh, the title company is looking for one. So far, they hadn't found it. They got one other thing to do to see if it's out there still, but we'll see. Okay. I don't know. Okay. I'm just playing it by ear. Yeah, absolutely. Well, hey, um, if if I'm assuming you're probably gonna accept one of the offers that you get on the MLS. Not just a random. Um, probably, probably not. I don't know. Cause like I said, I really would like to stay in the house because everything that I'm looking at, I can't afford to rent. <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, um, well, well, listen, try doing a loan modification. I tried that four times. They declined them. Oh, wow. I even went through this company called NACA. NACA did one for me. They declined that one. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. That's, that's usually but the best. there uh, is something that I can do it's going to be, that's what I'm going to do, uh, probably around the 20th or the 25th. It's called, uh, um, oh, I forgot what it's called. My attorney told me we could do, um, I forgot what he said. But he said we can do that to find out why they're declining the modification. Mm, okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. So he said there's there's a way that we can do that and they have to um, remove that. Um, foreclosure date till they can tell me why they're declining the modification. Well, it sounds like you're in good hands. The lawyer knows what he's talking about. I'm trying. <laughs> oh, I'm trying. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna follow up with you around around the twentieth and and see see where you're at. Um, okay. I'll, you can follow up with me around the fifteenth. And your name is Johnny. Yep. Yeah, my name is Johnny Stewart. 
If you have a pen, you can write that down. Mm -hmm. And my phone number is 774-219. Okay, let me ask you this, Johnny. What do you get out of helping people like this? What, what, what's your benefit? So if you don't sell the house to me, then my benefit is nothing, right? Really? Yeah. But if I sell the house to you, what do you benefit? Because you get to use the equity or something? Well, so have you ever heard of real estate wholesaling? And I'm going to be completely transparent with you here. Have you ever heard mm -hmm. of that? Your voice keep cutting off. Have I heard of? Of real estate wholesaling. And I'm going to be completely transparent mm -hmm. with you. Usually brokers do that, but uh -huh. Yeah. I, see, I've never heard of brokers doing that. I, they, they might. Um. So basically what I do is I help you try to stay in the house, right? That's first mm -hmm. and foremost because that's my goal. Who, who wants to leave their house? So from there, if you, if he can't and all else fails, then I would buy your house from you. I would in turn take that contract that me and you have, and give that contract to one of my cash buyers that I that I have in the Memphis area, and they would pay me a finder's fee just for bringing them a good property. Does that make sense? Yeah, perfect sense. Is pro progress really progress one of your people? Uh no, they're not. Um, I have I have all uh single individuals in, in Memphis, and I only have two, but they're they've been pretty spot on. If I bring them something that is worth their time, then they're gonna buy it. You know, um, you should try to get with progress really. Progress. Uh, all right, I'll check it out. Um, I'll write it down. Yeah, progress. Um, like I live in a pretty nice neighborhood, and everybody on my street. All those houses, all those people sold to Progress, Progress. I think it's called Progress Residential or something like that. They all, all those houses, like seven of them. Not, I'm not exaggerating. Mm -hmm. Seven of them, and they're all renting, and they're all rented for like eighteen to twenty five hundred. Oh wow, Progress yep. Realty, right? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna check that out. I really appreciate it. Yep. So you should really check them out. And um, I don't know how they get, how they find all these houses, but they're not cheap. They go through and renovate those houses. They put stainless steel refrigerator stoves, mm -hmm. washers, dryers. They they do a really good job, and they rent them out for real high, though. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna definitely mm -hmm. check them out and, and see what they do because that's that's kind of that's kind of what what I'm looking at is. Um, They're big. I mean, they have their own maintenance. I mean, well, you don't live in Memphis. I don't guess because your area code is seven seven four. Where yeah. is that, California? Uh, that's Massachusetts. I actually live in Murfreesboro, right outside of Nashville. Murfreesboro. Yeah, I was. I don't know where that is. I don't know where that is. Yeah, I was. I was yeah. born in Massachusetts, so that's why I got the the Massachusetts number. Okay. But um, yeah. This is a pretty nice area too. Yeah, um, I I actually just graduated college uh, earlier this month from uh, MTSU. Oh, okay. Good for you. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Well, you follow up with me around the 15th, about, I think if, they, if, if it's going to sell, it'll sell by then. Okay, awesome. I'll a lot of people. Cassidy? He has a wrong number. Oh, I'm sorry about that, miss. Have a good one. Yeah. All right, for the random call, I just wanted to let you know that the property on Reagan is scheduled for a uh -huh. trustee sale on February 6th. I just want to make you aware of that. How come? Uh, I I honestly don't know. It was it just came across my desk. Um, have you uh, do you have a mortgage on it or anything? Yeah, I got a mortgage. Okay. It comes automatically out of my account though. Uh, so Isn't I would that going wrong. Yeah, I, I I would guess so. Um, I would reach out to your mortgage company and be like, hey, um, I got a call okay. saying that there's a trustee sale. It was automatic payment. What what happened? And just kind of get that squared away with them. I do. I do appreciate it. Awesome. No problem, Thomas. I hope you have a good Bye. one. Thank All you right. so much. Bye-bye. Bye. Hello? Hey, is this Donna? No, it isn't. I'm sorry about that. Miss wrong number. Oh, 